Artistic Gamer 7 and welcome back to another video here on the channel. This one, as you can probably tell by the title, is a little bit differently. Also, you mainly see my face. So, um, I actually was thinking of this idea, like, well, as a point of this video, it's been about a week or so ago. Um, I actually recorded this episode in a second episode already and then found that my webcam, for some reason, didn't actually record. So it just recorded my screen, which there's nothing going on in my screen. And the webcam was supposed to be, like, a separate thing that I could have exported out. And, like, you know, anyway, um, but the webcam did not record at all, so I have to redo this <laughs> whole thing. Um, but basically, uh, I am going to be calling it Sims 4, um occult discussion. Basically, I'm going to be talking about um, occults and possible occults that are coming to the game. This first one just basically going to be giving you an idea of what this series is going to be because it's going to be like a little discussion series type thing which is a little bit different for my channel but I thought it would be fun to do. Uh, also, it's going to be the like the, the first one here is going to um, talk about the current occults that are already in the game and sort of just lightly touch base with them. And then, you know, then we'll head on to future occults that possibly can come to the game. Some of them have a less likely chance than others, but I still thought it'd be fun to talk and just to sort of, you know, have a way to sort of talk with any of you simmers out there who also love occults in your game. Now, for me, I personally really like having occults. It's sort of is the line between fantasy and realism because Sims obviously has a lot of things that are not very realistic but a lot of things that are more realistic because it you know it is a simulation it is trying to have some realism to it but it also sort of brings that mixture of fantasy not so realistic and I think the occults bring even more of a fantasy um, side to it and I like games just in general not just Sims um, games in general that do add elements of realism but also fantasy, and they balance the two out pretty well so that the realism doesn't get too tedious. Like, if you focus too much on realism and, like, you have, like, a game where you literally have to do very minute details, like, let's say, for instance, like, you had to wash clothes in that game for whatever, and you actually had to go through the minute details of gathering the clothes and sorting them and making sure you put enough fabric softener, detergent, and all that stuff. If you did stuff like that and got too detailed, um, that almost takes some of the fun out of it. One example of an actual recent game, if you've played Days Gone, I cannot, so I somewhat don't like the motorcycle. Like, it's sort of fun to drive around, but also the controls, though a little, eh, I could overlook it because it seems like it's very... At least for me, it seemed like it was very touch sensitive, but the main thing was the fact of how much you had to repair and gas up that stupid motorcycle. Yeah, that's an element of realism in real life. If you do a lot of the stuff that Deacon does on that motorcycle, it's gonna lose gas and it's gonna need repaired. But it happens almost too often, which is very realistic compared to the stuff that he's doing, but at the same time, it's almost too realistic that it takes away from the game. Don't get me wrong, I love that game in all honesty, but that was one of the things that I was like, okay, this may be too much. <laughs> so, anyway, basically, sort of like that. That's what I, I, that's why I like the occults. It's fantasy, but with a lot, some of the other stuff in The Sims, it has like a realistic undertone and it's almost like you can imagine that maybe, maybe occults, like, you know, sort of how they would be in real life if they were an actual real life thing. Um, also, I just like it being unique and different. Like, I like having those different sims and getting to play with them differently compared to other sims and, you know, just, just at them in general, they add, like, a little twist and a little bit of, like, a fun catch to the game if you have them. So, I do really like having occults. I do hope for more occults. I do believe we are getting more occults. It just is how many more are we actually going to get. At one point, there was a tweet that Grant did, I think it literally has been, like, a year or so ago now, where he actually did two polls with occults in them. And then the two winning occults went on to like a final poll and witches was the one that won. I am pretty sure mermaids was like a close second or third. 
And but he did also state that he was basically like, if you got to choose which occult came to the game, which would be the one that you wanted out of these, and was like, you know, though we are definitely considering adding more, there the all of these probably won't make it. So it was like eight occults, so you can imagine that there's a chance that less than eight occults are gonna be coming into the game. They've already added one since then, which was mermaids, and we're probably getting witches with Realm of Magic. So, you know, the chances are we probably are not going to get a lot of occults, but, you know, you c I could be hopeful. One can hope that, you know, there's still a chance of having quite a few of them, but um, only, in t only time will tell. We'll see what exactly happens with that, but so that's what this series basically is going to be, is talking about future occults or the chance of future occults and if they do come and even if they don't necessarily even have a chance of coming if by all like all out there chances they do what would I personally hope that those occults would be like once they get into the game is what this series is going to be now I am going to touch on the three current ones here in a second just to give my uh, like opinion on them. They're already in the game, so I don't want to spend like a whole lot of time on them. But basically, to just sort of talk about them since they're already there. And be able to use them for future comparison on occults that maybe I want to see in the game. Or like maybe have a chance in the game or whatever. So the first one I am going to talk about. If I don't whack my fan down here that's trying to keep me and my computer school to death with my computer. <laughs> is mermaids. Now the mermaids are the most recent one to come to the game and I also don't know a whole lot about mermaids. One of the things with the occults that I hope to see with all occults is a system of pros and cons. Obviously these occults are different from regular sims. They have they either have powers and well so far all of them have at least a few powers. So you know they have like abilities and powers that your normal sims don't have but I still feel like there should be a balance. Like, yeah, they have all the, these awesome abilities, but there should be something to counterbalance that. So that they're not like, oh, I'm way better than a regular Sim because I can do this with no consequences. I definitely don't think that... Basically, I don't need the occult to be, like, overpowered compared to a regular Sim. And it's really sort of weird to say that in terms of Sims using the word overpowered, but it's sort of the best to sort of describe what I'm saying. Basically, if these occults were real and they had abilities and powers to be able to do something or overtop the humans, there should be like a system of checks and balances that maybe the humans can still have some leverage, basically is what I'm saying. But in this case, it's Sims. <laughs> um, and with the mermaids, I don't really fully know their pros and cons. I do know the mermaids have abilities. I don't fully know what those abilities are. I am trying not to spoil myself. I'm not watching people's LPs currently yet, which is killing me because there's so many I have been seeing that I'm like, they look like they're so good, I want to watch them. But I also don't want to ruin surprises for myself. So for now, I'm avoiding those LPs. I'm going to go back and watch them once I like at least start watching them once I get pretty far into my own LP and then especially after I finish it I'm gonna go back and watch them so that I can like you know see other people's playthroughs see how they did things how they reacted but otherwise I'm avoiding those I'm also tr not really playing much of the island living stuff off screen so that when I'm in my island living let's play, it's all genuine and real reactions because I haven't seen or knew about that. Um, obviously, of course, it's hard to completely miss some details of the mermaids in social media. So there are a few things that I have seen or known or at least got at least a pretty good idea of. Um, so I don't fully know what their pros and cons system may be like. I know there's the powers and the abilities, but you know, I know there's also the hydration. I don't know how like quickly that lowers, like how much that is a thing that can actually affect them and actually work against them. I'm not quite sure. I know that if your sim is having a like a little party and they have a conch shell and they think it'd be cool for like a celebratory thing to go woo and blow the conch shell just to be fun and do something in the midst of the party um, 
I did know that there was mermaids there, that the mermaids are automatically compelled to be listening to this conch shell and react to it, so they have no choice over it. That's just something they just go and do. I do know that the mermaids seem to want to hide that they're actually mermaids, but it's a little bit different from the aliens. Not The aliens like actually have a full-on disguise and all that sort of stuff, but um, the mermaids, you know, I don't... They deny it, and I don't know if there's a way eventually you can get onto their good side where they'll admit to it. I, like I said, I haven't got to play it too much. but um, So I don't think their con system seems like that huge as of right now. Um, but I can't really tell much about their pro system either. I do like the fact that um, just by seeing in Create a Sim, you can make some pretty strange looking mermaids. Ones that look more fishy. They can have the the really pointy teeth that are basically like the shark teeth or whatever, or piranha teeth all the way across. So you can, it does seem like for story purposes, you can have a pretty dark mermaid or a um, basically little mermaid type mermaid. Um, just depending on how your play style is or if you're doing a story or how you want that to be perceived. So I do like that fact that you can have a mermaid who's not your typical beauty type um, thought of a mermaid. I do know some of the powers that they have does include singing, um, even though technically, the, if you know the history of mermaids, mermaids wasn't really known for singing, actually. It's just at some point in time that became a thing. That was more of the sirens, and honestly, like, I could try to explain it in this video, but it would take a while, and there's actually a video out there by Hip Hip Renee that actually explains it extremely well. Like, she did a good job on that video, and I absolutely love that video. I'll try to remember to put a link down in the description below, but that gives the um, difference differences in between sirens and mermaids and the fact that nowadays they're sort of blended. Granted, I do not blame EA for still making mermaids also be like sirens, because... <laughs> where people have got that sort of mixed thought in their head. I'm pretty sure people would have been a little bit disappointed if that wasn't some of the mermaids' abilities. So, I do know that there is some singing element to the mermaids. I just don't know fully what for and what is all of it that you can do. But only time will tell for me. Now we shall go on to my actual personal favorite occult in the game, which is vampires. Which was the second occult to come to the game, and honestly the one that I feel like is one occult that will probably be in any Sims generation that comes out just because it is a well-known occult and like a lot of people do like it, though I feel like depending on the type of person you may have been more excited for the mermaids than the vampires, but me personally I'm more excited for the vampires, though I'm perfectly happy with my mermaids, so... I am not complaining that I have mermaids either. Um, honestly, if somehow I can combine all the occults together to make some new master occult, that'd be pretty interesting. But um, I already know for a fact that vampires and aliens can't have any hybrid alien vampires. So, and I'm pretty sure mermaids are probably going to be the same thing. You probably can't have an alien mermaid or a vampire mermaid, sadly. Um, <laughs> As cool as that might would be, and also scary as that might could be. <laughs> um, so that's the one thing. I don't think like necessarily a vampire and a mermaid can't be together, but I think the kid automatically is either going to be just a mermaid or just a vampire, and not a hybrid of the two. <laughs> so, eh, oh well. But yeah, vampires are my favorites, partially because it's one of my favorite occults, um, depending on, you know, how they're portrayed, technically. Um, your little sparkly Twilight vampire fans, sorry, I hate that the vampires were portrayed the way they were in Twilight. I could not stand that at all. Like, we do not sparkle in the sunlight if you're a vampire. Like, that's just not a thing you do. Um, but if you're a fan of how they're portrayed in the originals, then yes, yes, we're on the same page. Um, obviously, the vampires in Sims 4 are not portrayed like the ones in the originals, but that's probably because the if they did that, the game would probably have to go past the T rating. <laughs> that being said, um, I think they did a really good job with portraying the fact that vampires technically can have like a good streak to them, but at the fact that they have this struggle of having to drink plasma or blood, whichever way you want to say it, uh, they have that struggle of having to 
cope with that and they have to try to find ways around that if they don't like hurting humans or they have to just suck it up and do it or you know some of them just don't care so i i think they did portray it well they didn't necessarily make the vampires seem like lovey-dovey goody tissues type of vampires but they definitely still have like their seductive feel but a more serious more of a serious note versus a lovey-dovey teenage romance novel <laughs> and um also still like you know you can have your very dark vampire as well so and the fact the way that they did the power system also was really well done there was the pros and the cons like vampires is a real good balance of pros and cons like you have all these abilities and strengths that you can get you can even get immunity to the sun but you have to take a con and you have to either only be able to sleep in coffins or you're hissing all the time or you're a guilty drinker or sloppy drinker or something something is counterbalancing plus the fact that they're immortal but technically there is ways that they can die it's it's all um really really well done and i like how they did the vampires they did a good job with the vampires and i hope all future occults are in a pack by themselves like there's not multiple occults introduced and if they do it's literally only like at the maximum of two preferably one because i feel like if they do it that way they can focus on the single occult and actually flesh out and go more in depth with that occult though i love supernaturals and it honestly was one of my favorite sims 3 sims um packs granted i did not play all the sims 3 packs i did not get all of them because at the time i was in high school yeah high school and such and i didn't have a job of my own so you know i just had to get the packs whenever i was allowed to get the packs versus now i have a job of my own i i make my own money i decide what i do with that money and i can buy the packs myself now so i didn't have all the sims 3 packs and i so it's hard to fully compare certain ones but sims 3 supernatural was one of my favorites but that being said the vampires in Sims 3 and the vampires in Sims 4, I love the ones in Sims 4 so much more. And I think it's simply because, even though it was a game pack, game packs are not fully in-depth as expansion packs. Though I think the game packs are like, they sort of put more in there than you think they would for the price difference in between the expansion and game pack, to be real honest with you. But I really liked the way vampires were done in 4. They seemed... Slightly more realistic compared to what you would think a vampire could be. And they just had more abilities, more fine-tuning and stuff like that. I just I just like them in general. I did like the vampires in Sims 3, but I think I found myself playing with the witches and fairies a little bit more in Sims 3 than I did the vampires, even though vampires is one of my favorite, like, mythological, like, occult-type things from stories. So, you know, eh hope that they do that for all the occults in sims 4 that do get a chance to make it in now lastly is the aliens which were the first occult ever like introduced and i don't know if they fully called the aliens like one of the occults technically uh, the way that they were figuring and handling things of like different sims that wasn't just your normal sims i don't know if it was done the same way i can't even remember fully when the aliens first came out how all that was done in creative sim and things like that i do know a lot of things changed with the aliens like i think they actually changed some things because originally i think there were certain things you couldn't do with the aliens which just made it a little bit more irritating like it was a con but like one of those irritating cons um and honestly the aliens are my least favorite out of the three yeah i haven't fully figured out how the mermaids work i haven't fully seen are they well balanced pros and cons wise but what little bit i do know i already like them better than the aliens i think they could have done a little bit better with the aliens if they i don't know if they just sort of threw the aliens in there because of the scientist career where they were introducing um six them and the fact that the scientists could do like figure out about aliens and stuff like that i don't know if that was just a quick decision or you know they thought that the aliens were fine just the way that they were putting them in 
but I don't- I still like aliens. Don't get me wrong. I still like having them in my game because I like having those unique different sims around the world and like sims that are a little bit different to play with, but their pros and cons wasn't good either way. <laughs> the pros were certain powers that they can do, mostly mental powers, which makes sense, but some of the powers, and honestly, you know, I don't know, there could have been powers that I never found out that aliens had, but I just never fooled around with it enough because the powers that I did know they have wasn't that impressive to me and like one in particular that I for surely like remember is the fact that they could detect personalities not only would they do they would have to do like this whole like mental thing to take a bit and probe the head of the sim that they were trying to detect the personalities to but that said sim would also get very angry at them if they already wasn't angry at them for figuring out they were alien but they would get angry at them for being probed which I get, it sort of makes sense, but the thing, the thing of it is that there is a reward trait that any of your sims could get, whether they be alien, vampire, normal sim, mermaid, there's a reward trait where you can literally basically talk to the sim, introduce yourself, like you haven't been, you haven't known them any prior, you may not even know any sims that know them, but just by simply shaking their hand, you automatically know their personality, you know their traits. So if a normal sim can do that by shaking the hand of a sim, by getting that reward trait, with no consequences, but then an alien does it the way that they're designed to do it and they have consequences, like, like, not even, f like, a good type co I, technically there's no good consequences, but you know what I mean, like, I, I hated it, actually. And I hated the fact that majority of the sims hate when they find out a sim's an alien. Personally, in my world, my aliens do not hide the fact that they're aliens. In my interpretation of them, they are proud to be aliens, but they also love living in the world of, uh, like, in the Sims world. So, instead of, like, over on Sixum. But, you know, basically every single Sim, unless they're, like, a scientist, I guess maybe, like, the genius trait or something, because most of my scientists have that trait, but the majority of Sims get mad when they find out that these sims are aliens. One, my sims are not hiding it very well that they are an alien. Two, they are trying to coexist with you and be perfectly happy and fine and you're mad at them for just being born an alien, something they could not really fully control. Other than that, they're not doing anything wrong with you. They may have just brought you a fruitcake, but you're mad at them because they're an alien. So, um, that was one of their cons, but I actually didn't really like that con, to be fully honest with you. I wish that maybe they would have had more like mental powers and type powers that, you know, a normal sim couldn't get through the reward trait and there would have been consequences to that and maybe like, maybe even like because that isn't their native world that maybe after, if you were playing them after a while they had like a, had to, had to have like some little pod or special device that they had to go and like breathe into or sleep in or something every once in a while to, um, regain their strength because they wasn't used, their bodies wasn't necessarily fully built for the atmosphere on that world. Because the atmosphere on that world in Sixum is probably different. Or like maybe they were more prone to getting sickness because, you know, they wasn't used to the type of sicknesses that your normal sims get and things like that. I just wish there would have been changes like that. Like the way the atmosphere and the weather and the world would have affected the aliens differently because their body wasn't used to that. And that if they did use powers, like, their energy or their, um, fun or something, like, one of their moods would have, like, one of their little thingy the, the, the needs <laughs> would deplete because of those powers. But from what I remember, they did not. So I wish, I wish they would have been handled a little bit differently, but, um, I still enjoy having them. I just wish they were done differently <laughs> basically but anyway i've probably talked on this video a little bit longer the rest of my videos probably won't be this long because they'll be talking about one occult i will be going more in depth with them because i'll be talking about things that i hope to see versus things that we already know are there um so anyway hope that you enjoyed this video video i hope you're looking forward to this series if so hit that lovely like button and make sure you're subscribed so you can see the next episode let me know down in the comments below your thoughts on the current occults which one's your favorite which things do you wish they would have done differently do you agree with me on some of the things that i said or do you disagree i would like i just want to know like what people's opinions are in some ways um I know with vampires, one of the main thing complaints about them is them visiting homes and coming in and drinking the plasma sims 
randomly. I don't actually have that problem. The only time I've ever had that happen was when one of my sims actually let that vampire in on a previous day, and then that vampire comes back later, and it's usually not a vampire that they know very well. And I think Vlad's the main one who's done it in my world, but otherwise, I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, I have, I have vampires come knocking on the door at like 2 a.m. sometimes, but the thing is, is your sims can completely ignore them. If they don't invite them in, they can't do anything, and it doesn't wake your sims up if they're already asleep with the sim knocking on the door. It slows down your time if you're speeding it up, just to let you know there's someone at your door if you want to answer it. But if you don't answer it, then it doesn't do anything, at least not for me. So that was the main main complaint I usually heard, or like fear I heard from people with vampires, but for me, I don't have that problem. So, um, But, you know, anyway, thank you. Again, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to chat with me down in the comments below. I might even do follow-up videos just as like a little like secondary discuss discussion if a lot of points are brought up that I feel like, you know, maybe we should talk in um, chat even deeper. So definitely feel free to comment down below. Let me know some of the occults that you're hoping to see come to the game and, you know, I'll probably do maybe videos talking about them. I already have quite a few that I already know I'm going to do videos for, so you're the one that you want to talk about may already be on the list but definitely feel free to mention it because definitely it'd be interesting to see how many people are looking for what occults and things like that and anyway i'll my ear itches randomly here at the end i'll see you in the next one